Hey G-Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool, amazing product right here in my hand. If you guys can see, basically what it is, is a sifter. And basically what you guys can use this for is to sift your flowers and whatnot when you guys are baking stuff. That way when you guys are using your flour or whatever for mixing or baking and whatnot, uh, it's not all crumbled up together. Instead, it's like all spread out and like a little small little uh, crumbs and pieces. So that way it will definitely be a lot more helpful and useful for you when you guys are baking stuff and mixing your batter and whatnot. So for the one that I have right here, you guys can see that I told you guys the measurement on here. So if you guys fill up to this line right here, it's 250 grams. If you guys fill it up to here, then it's 125 grams. So if you guys fill it up to here, then that'll be 325 grams. There are some other ones in the market that you can buy that carries more or less. But for the one that I have right here, it can carry up to 325 grams, which is a lot to be honest. So the bottom part looks like this. On the side, they have this little handle and pull. And pretty much what that does is help uh, sift the product inside, if you can see. So that way the flour and whatnot won't be crumbled up together when you guys are sifting it out. The interior and the exterior of the product is uh, made really nicely. It's all stainless steel materials. So definitely a high quality product overall. There are some of these uh, sifters in the market that doesn't have this handle. Instead, they have the other handle where you can twirl it like this. I'll definitely put the links in the description box down below so you can go check it out and see which one is best for you guys. Um, but this is the one that I have. I definitely feel that cleaning this product would be really, really easy. All you guys have to do is just like rinse it off. Maybe spray some water inside. If you guys want to use a sponge to like kind of scrub off certain parts, you guys can as well. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself. The only way for us to actually find out when it actually works and how well it works is to actually go test it out. So let me actually go do a quick test of the product first and then we're gonna come back and talk more about the product in a second. Right, welcome back guys. So now you guys saw the quick test of the product itself. You guys can see that actually works really, really well. Definitely really, really worth it, especially for those guys who uh, bake a lot. And you guys need to like spread out the flour so it's not all crumbled up together. So now that we did a quick testing of the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I would definitely have to say that this is worth it if you guys want one or need one of these, especially if you guys are bakers and you guys bake a lot, you guys need to sift your flowers and whatnot, then this is definitely really worth it. You guys definitely have the option to like buy one of these where it has this kind of handle or the other handle where you can twirl like this. For me, honestly, I think it's better to get one of these where you can pull it like this instead of the twirling one because it's like you have to use another hand. So what if you guys need to like use the other hand to hold a bow or something? This is much easier to use than the other one where you have to twirl it like that. So at the end of the day, it really depends on you guys and what you guys prefer, but this is my preference of what I prefer and what I think is better. But then obviously for those guys who don't want one or don't need one or have no use for one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that actually do need. But other than that, that's what we did for the quick unboxing and testing of the product itself. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G-Squad fan shout out day we have. <laughs>